can a story never die? It is love we must hold on to Never easy, but we try Sometimes our happiness is captured Somehow a time and place stand still Love lives on inside our hearts And always will Minutes turn to hours Days to years then gone But when all else has been forgotten Still our song lives on Still our song lives on Let's begin In a far away land, young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish and unkind. But then, one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as his only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose, which would bloom for many years to come. If he could learn to love another, and earn their love in return by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he'd be doomed to remain a beast forever. As the years passed, the beast lost all hope and fell into despair. For who could ever learn to love a beast? Your town, it's a 
quiet village every day like the one before little town full of little people waking up to say bonjour 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 there goes the baker with his tray like always the same old bread and rolls to sell Every morning just the same Since the morning that we came To this poor provincial town Good morning, Belle Good morning, Monsieur And where are you off to? The bookshop I just finished the most wonderful story About a beanstalk and an ogre and... Uh, that's nice Marie, the baguettes, hurry up Look, there she goes, that girl is strange No question Stays that distracted, can't you tell? Never part of any crowd Cut your heads up on some cloud No one denies she's a funny girl that fell Bonjour Good day How is your family? Fighting success That's too expensive There must be more than this provincial life Ah, oh, Bell. Good morning, sir. I've come to return the book I borrowed. Finished already? Oh, I couldn't put it down. Got anything new? Uh, not since yesterday. Well, that's all right. I'll borrow this one. That one? But you've read it twice already. Well, it's my favorite. Far off places, daring sword fights, magic spells, a prince in disguise. If you like it all that much, it's yours. But, sir... I insist. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look, there she goes, that girl is so peculiar I wonder if she's feeling well With a dreamy far off look And her nose stuck in a book What a puzzle to the rest of us in spell Oh, isn't this amazing? It's my favorite part Because you'll see That it's him till chapter three. Now it's no wonder that her name means beauty. Her looks have got no parallel. Behind that fair facade, I'm afraid she's rather odd. Very different from the rest of us. She's nothing, nothing like the rest of us. Yes, different from the rest of us is I got it, I got it, I got it! Oh. Wow, you didn't miss a shot, Gaston! You're the greatest hunter in the whole world! I know. No beast alive stands a chance against you, and no girl for that matter. It's true, the foot, and I've got my sights set on that one. <gasps> the inventor's daughter? She's the one. <gasps> The lucky girl I'm going to marry. But she The most beautiful girl in town. Why, no, and That but... makes her the best. And don't I deserve the best? Well, of course you do. <laughs> right from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous and I fell. Here in town there's only she who's as beautiful as me, so I'm making plans to woo and marry Belle. Pardon. Good day. Hey, call this bake. Some tea. Yes, please. One pound. Excuse me. Please let me through. Oh, no fish. Please help. Madame's mistake. It is my fault. It is my fault. This watch I'm going to make bow my wife. There she goes, that girl is strange. Not special. A most peculiar mademoiselle. She doesn't quite fit in But she really is a funny girl A beauty but a funny girl She really is a funny girl That
Hello, Belle. Bonjour, Gaston. Excuse me. Gaston, may I have my book, please? Belle, how can you read this? There's no pictures. <laughs> well, some people use their imagination. Belle, it's about time you get your head out of those books and started to pay attention to more important things. Hint, hint. Like you? Exactly! The whole town's talking about it. It's not right for a woman to read. Soon she starts getting ideas and then... thinking. Gaston, you are positively primeval. Why, thank you, Belle. Now what do you say we uh, take a walk down to the tavern and look at all my trophies? What do you say we don't? Oh, come on, Belle. I think I know how you feel about me. You can't even imagine. <laughs> Gaston, please, I have to get inside and help my father. <laughs> that crazy old fool! He needs all the help we can get! <laughs> don't talk about my father that way! Yeah, don't talk about our father yeah. that way! My father's not crazy. He's a genius. Simpity do da! Gaston! Some genius. That's a genius. <laughs> Now, LeFou, you're going to go out in the woods, and you're going to bring me back the biggest, beefiest, healthiest deer you can find. Got me? Not the woods. Anything but the woods. You know I hate the woods. Just get me a deer for my wedding feast. But I hate the woods. It's dark and spooky, and there's bugs and spiders. Guess on, wait, please. No. Oh! Papa, are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine, but I can't for the life of me figure out why that happened. If this isn't the stubbornest piece of... Ow! Papa! I'm about ready to give up on this hunk of junk! Oh, you always say that. I mean it this time. I'll never get this boneheaded contraption to work! Yes, you will. And you'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. And become a world-famous inventor. You really think so? You know I do. I always have. Right then. We better get cracking, this thing's not gonna fix itself. Now, let me see, where did I put that dog-legged clencher? So tell me, Belle, did you have a nice time in town today? I got a new book. You do love those books. Well, they take me away to wonderful places where there's adventure and mystery and romance and happy endings. Papa, if I ask you something, will you answer me honestly? Don't I always? Do you think I'm... Odd. My daughter, Odd? Now where would you get an idea like that? Well, I don't know. It's just that, well, people talk. They talk about me, too. No, I'm not Odd, nor you. No family ever saner. Except one uncle who, well, maybe let that pass. In all you say and do, you couldn't make it plainer. You are your mother's daughter, therefore you are class. So I should just accept I'm simply not like them. They are the common herd. And you can take my word. You are unique, them. De la creme. No matter what you do, I'm on your side. And if my point of view is somewhat misty eyed, there's nothing clearer in my life than what I wish and feel for you. And that's a lot, no matter what. No matter what they say, you make me proud. I love the funny way you stand out from the crowd. It's my intention, my invention shows the world out there. 
one day just what we've got no matter what now some may say oh fathers just exaggerate that every daughter is great you are and every daughter tends to say her father's tops she pulls out all the stops to praise him and quite rightly no matter what the pain we've come this far I pray that you remain exactly as you are this really is a case of father knowing best and daughter too you're never strange don't ever change you're all i've got no matter Now, what do you say we give her a try? All right. All right. You go get the log. All right. Stand back. Here we go. It works. It does. It does. Papa, you did it. You really did it. You won first prize tomorrow. I know it. Who knows? Maybe I will. It's that. Oh, I almost forgot. I made you the scarf for good luck. Well, now I know I'll win. And then we'll get out of this town and travel to all of those faraway places you've read about in your books. Well then, I'm off. Goodbye, Papa. Bye-bye, Belle. Be careful. Mine. It's quite my best invention. So simple yet complex, so massive yet so small. This triumph of design will be my old age pension. That is providing I can find the fair at all. I must have missed a sign. I should have paid attention. That's not a nightingale and not a mating call. Wolves! Stay back! Stay back! Get away! Get away! Help! Stay back! you've done. I told you not to let him in. We could not leave him for the wolves. Is somebody home? 
Maybe if we stay quiet, he'll go away. Is anyone here? Not a word, Lumiere, not one word. I don't mean to intrude, but I lost my way in the woods and I need a place to stay for the night. Poor fellow. Gogsworth, have a heart. Monsieur, you are welcome here. I heard that. I know there's someone there, and I'll thank you to step out where I can see you. Hello! Ah! And goodbye. But, 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 but you're a clock, and you're talking! Astonishing, isn't it? Quite inexplicable, really. Now, goodbye. Gogsworth, I'm surprised at you. Where are your manners? Lumiere, we have to get him out of here. Oh, well, this is incredible! Oh, stop it! How is this accomplished? Oh, really, sir? Uh, simply magnificent! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'm stumped. Must be some kind of newfangled scientific gadget. I, sir, am not a gadget. Well, excuse me, I don't mean to offend. It's just I've never seen a... <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, you chewed to the bone, monsieur. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Lumiere, I forbid it. As head of this household, I demand you stop... <gasps> not the master's chair. I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this. Ooh la la, what have we here? Do my eyes deceive me, or is this a man? It's been so long since I've seen a real man. No offense, Lumiere. <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur. Mind if I sit here? Oh, well, hello. All right, this has gone on long enough. I'm in charge here, and I say we stop this. Oh, no. How would you like a nice cup of tea, sir? It'll sure warm you up in no time. Oh, yes, please. Tea? No tea. He'll be here all night. No tea. There you are. Ah, uh, this is just what I need. <laughs> ah! Oh, I think I scared him, Mama. Well, what's your name, little fella? Chip. <laughs> Figures! <laughs> Care for a blanket, monsieur? I just love older men. Bobette, you're always trying to make me jealous. Well, it's not going to work this time. Me? What about you? With Simone? <gasps> Jacques? No. What? Michelle? <gasps> Pierre? Veronique? Ooh, Veronique! Oh, Lumiere! Oh, Lumiere, you have to listen to me. The master, what if the master finds out we let a stranger and you don't know what he'll do to us? Ah, oh, calm yourself, Cogsworth. The master will never have to know. That's I was saying, the master is bound to find out sooner or later. Should we hide, Mama? No, no, there's absolutely no reason to panic. Lumiere's right, there's no reason to panic. Oh, may I borrow that, sir? Oh. There's a stranger here! Master, allow me to explain. The gentleman was set upon by wolves. <laughs> Let him in! Master, Master, may I take this opportunity to say I was against it from the start. Who dared to disobey me? Oh dear. You have all betrayed me. Who are you? M Maurice! What are you doing in my castle? I lost my way in the woods! You're not welcome here! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll just be on my way. Ah! Ah! It's hideous, isn't it? No, no, I wasn't. You've come to stare at the beast, haven't you? No, I meant no harm. I was merely looking for a place to stay. I'll give you a place to stay. Ah! Come with me. I can't. Tell me a little thing like that's gonna change your feelings for me. Oh no! No, never. Good. And we'll still have our little rendez vouses, won't we? Oh yes! <laughs> yes, always! Good. Well, then I guess if we're gonna have a wedding, I'd better propose to the bride. <laughs> oh, run along now! Bell! Oh, Bell! Anyone who. Hello! Gaston, what a pleasant surprise. Isn't it though? I'm just full of surprises. 
for you, Mademoiselle. A miniature portrait? Of you. You shouldn't have. Don't mention it, Belle. You know there isn't a girl in town who wouldn't love to be in your shoes. Today's the day that all of your dreams come true. What could you possibly know about my dreams, Gaston? Plenty. <laughs> You've been dreaming just one dream nearly all your life. Hoping, scheming just one theme. Will you be a wife? Will you be some he man's property? Good news that he man's me. This equation, girl plus man, doesn't help just you. On occasion, women can have their uses too. Mainly to extend the family tree. Pumpkin, extend with me. You'll be raising sons galore Inconceivable Each built six foot four Unbelievable and each one stuffed with every guest on G I'm not hearing You'll this You'll be keeping house with pride Just incredible Each day gratified So unwettable That you are part of this idyllic scene Picture this A rustic hunting lodge My latest kill Roasting over the fire, and my little wife massaging my feet while the little ones play on the floor with the dogs. Oh, we'll have six or seven dogs? No, Belle, strapping boys like me. Imagine that. I can see that we will share all that love implies. We shall be the perfect pair. Rather like my thighs, you are face to face with destiny. All roads lead to the best things in life are all's well that ends with me. Escape me, there's no way, certain as do re, though when you marry. So, Belle, what'll it be? <laughs> is it a yes or is it an oh, yes? I just don't deserve you. Who does? Me! But thanks for asking. <laughs> You know that bell, always playing hard to get. <laughs> she turned you down? For now, but I'll have Belle as my wife. Make no mistake about that. Well, gee, if she turned him down, then maybe I've got a shot. Is he gone? Can you imagine? He asked me to marry him. Me, the wife of that boorish, brainless. Madame Gaston, can you just see it? Madame Gaston, his little wife. No, sir, not me. I guarantee it. I want much more than this provincial life. The great white somewhere I wanted more than I can tell And for once it might be grand To have someone understand I want so much more than they've got planned Hey Belle, have you seen Gaston? You just missed him Wait a minute Where'd you get that scarf? This? Oh, in the woods. Oh, pretty cool, huh? 
This belongs to my father. Oh, uh, yeah, well, finders keepers. <laughs> LeFou, I want you to think hard and tell me exactly where you found that. No. Think. Somewhere in the woods. Harder? The crossroads, okay? Ow! That he's still out there somewhere. LeFou, you have to take me back. Not the woods again. Don't you see? Something must have happened to him. You have to take me back. Not on your life. Then I'll find him myself. <laughs> Stay quiet, could we? Just had to invite him to stay, didn't we? Serve him tea, sit in the master's chair? I was trying to be hospitable. Oh, rubbish. Ah, oh, Dogsworth, can you blame me for trying to maintain what's left of our humanity? Look at us. Look at you. What about me? You were always insufferable, and every day you became a little more inflexible, a little more tightly wound, and a little more ticked off. Oh, please spare me your stupid puns. At least we're not as far gone as some as the others. You saw what happened to Michelle. Oh, she was always vain about her looks, and that's exactly what she's become. A vanity. <laughs> Little drawers, mirrors, the works. <laughs> and poor Jean-Claude. Who? Jean-Claude! You remember, not too bright, dumb as a... A brick. The whole wall. Jean-Claude's a brick wall. That's him in the kitchen behind the stove. Oh, tisk tisk. And you know Guillaume, the houseboy? Oh, I never liked that mealy little bootlicker, always groveling at the master's feet. He's a doormat. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it's happening faster with some of the others, but we are not far behind. Slowly but surely, as every day passes, we will all gradually become things. But why did we have to get dragged into this whole spell business? It's not like we were the ones that threw that poor old beggar woman out on her ear. No, but are we not responsible to? for helping make him the way he is? Oh, I suppose so. All I know is I will eventually melt away into nothing. I only hope there's a part of me left, even if the master ever breaks his spell. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, hang on, old man. We just got to hang on. I, uh, Hello? Uh, it's a girl? Yes, of course I can see it's a girl. Is it's a girl! Shall he? Let me, let me do all the talking. You who? Hello? As head of household, I believe I should do all the talking. Talking. Mademoiselle! Oh, just one word, Lumia, just one word. Oh, please, that's all I ask. <laughs> mama, mama, you won't believe what I just saw. Not in a million thousand years. <laughs> Not in a trillion million thousand years. Yes, Chip? No, really, it's the greatest thing. It's the thing that everybody's been waiting for since, <laughs> since, well, since I don't know when. All right, Chip, now what is it? There's a girl in the castle. Oh, bless my soul. Wouldn't that be lovely? But there is. I saw her. Now, Chip, I'll not have you be making up wild stories, getting everyone's hopes up for no reason. <laughs> Mrs. Potts, did you hear? There's a girl in the castle. <laughs> I told you. And she's real pretty, too. Well, I don't know about that. The girl, she has come to break the spell! Wait a minute, wait a minute, let's not be so hasty. Can you believe it? Oh, happy, happy day! Mwah, mwah, stop it, mwah. stop oh, that! We should tell the others, no? No, I mean, yeah, I mean, no, I mean, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hello? Is anyone there? Please, I'm looking for my father. Bell! Bell, is that you? Papa! Belle, how did you find me? Oh, your hands are like ice. We have to get you out of here. You must leave this place now. Who's done this to you? There's no time to explain. You must go. Now! I won't leave you. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle. Then you're the one responsible for this. Release my father at once. I am the master of this castle, and I do not take orders from anyone. Please forgive me. Please. Can't you see he's not well? Then he should not have trespassed here. But he's just an old man. He could die. He came into my home uninvited. 
And now he'll suffer the consequences. Please let him go. I'll do anything. There's nothing you can do. Wait, please. I said there was nothing you can do. Take me instead. No. What did you say? Take me instead. You would do that? You would take his place? If I did, would you let him go? Yes. But you must promise to stay here forever. No! Forever? Or he dies in the dungeon. But that's not fair. Wait. Come into the light. Make your choice. Mel, Mel, listen to me. I'm old. I've lived my life. You have my word. No. Done. No. Come with oh. me, old man. Wait. Let her go. Wait, no. Let her go. Not yet. No. Oh, no. 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 Master. No. Master, please. Since the girl's going to be with us for quite some time, you might want to give her a more comfortable room. You didn't even let me say goodbye. What? I'll never see him again, and I didn't even get to say goodbye. <laughs> I'll show you to your room. My room? But I thought- Do you want to stay in that dungeon? No. Then follow. You follow me. This is your home now. You're free to go anywhere you like except the West Wing. Why? What's in the West Wing? It's forbidden! You are never to set foot there. Do you understand? Yes. This is your room. I hope you will be comfortable here. If you need anything, my servants will attend you. And one more thing. You will join me for dinner tonight. And that is not a request. Yes, I made the choice. Papa, I will stay. But I don't deserve to lose my freedom in this way, you monster. If you think that what you've done is right, well then... You're a fool. Where I should learn to be happy Never dreamed That a home could be dark and cold I was told Every day in my childhood Even when we grow old Home should be where the heart is Never were words so true My heart's far, far away Home is too What I'd give to return To the life that I knew lately And to think I complained of that dull provincial town Is this home? Am I here for a day or forever? Shut away from the world until who knows when Oh, but then as my life has been altered once, it can change again. Build higher walls around me, change 
which every law can keep. Nothing lasts, nothing holds all of me. My heart's far, far away. Mrs. Potts, dear, I thought you might like a nice cup of tea. Come in. <laughs> Nothing like a cup of tea to make the world seem a bit brighter. <laughs> but you're, you're uh, Mrs. Potts, dear, and very pleased to meet your acquaintance. <laughs> ah! Careful, darling. <laughs> Who are you? Madame de la Grande Bouche. Perhaps you've heard of me? I'm sorry. You see, they've forgotten all about me. One can be, and I quote, the toast of all Europe, the brightest star to ever grace the stage. Fall under one little spell. <laughs> Wait, this is impossible. Well, yes it is, but here we are. Now then, what shall we dress you in for dinner? Now this is nice, but how would you like to borrow one of my gowns? Let's see what I've got in my drawers. <laughs> Here we are. I wore this the night I performed at the Royal Opera. The king himself was there. Of course, I wouldn't have a prayer fitting into it now. Take it. That's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. Oh, don't be silly. Of course you are. You heard what the master said. He may be your master, but he isn't mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is all just happening so fast. That was a very brave thing you did, my dear. We all think so. I'm going to miss my papa so much. Well, cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak right now, but it'll all turn out right in the end. We're here to see you through. <laughs> I hope that we'll be friends, though I don't know you well. If anyone can make the most of living here, then Belle, it's you. And who knows, you may find home here Together. Gosh, it disturbs me to see you, Gaston, looking so down in the dumps. Every guy here'd love to be you, Gaston, even when taking your lumps. There's no man in town as admired as you. You're everyone's favorite guy. Everyone's awed and inspired by you, and it's not very hard to see why no one slick as Gaston, no one's quick as Gaston, no one's neck as incredibly thick as Gaston, for there's no man in town half as manly 
Perfect to pure Paragon You can ask any Tom, Dick, or Stanley And they tell you whose team they prefer to be on No one Been like Gaston, I can get my Gaston No one's got a swelk left in his chin like Gaston a Specimen, yes I'm intimidating My one and I got Gaston Give five or run, give twelve, give it Gaston is the best and the rest is all drips! Wrestling match, nobody bites like Gaston! When there's no one, it's Burley and Bronny! As you see, I've got five oh, to spare! Not a bit of him scraggly or scrawny! That's right! And every last inch of me's covered with hair! No one hits like Gaston, matches twins like Gaston! In a spinning match, nobody spits like Gaston! I'm especially good at expectorating! Toy! Incoming! Oh my god! Where is it? She's a good one, Lafu, oh, isn't she? Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it! Ten points for Gaston! When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. And now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen eggs, so I'm roughly the size of a bunch! <laughs> Dropping around wearing boots like Gaston. I use antlers in all of my decorating. My my He's got her locked away in the dungeon! Who? Bell! Bell, not a moment to lose! Come on. Slow down, old man. Who's got Bell locked in a dungeon? A beast! A hideous, monstrous beast! <laughs> oh, Marie. Beast! Is it a big beast? Huge! With spooky yellow eyes? Yes, yes! And a long, ugly snout? Hideously ugly! <laughs> and sharp, cruel fangs? Yes! Yes! Now, will you help me? Will you help me? Oh, we'll help you out, old man. Oh, thank you, thank you! Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then! I'll get her back myself! <laughs> Crazy old Maurice. Always good for a laugh. Crazy old Maurice. Crazy old Maurice! <laughs> the school I'm afraid I've been thinking. 
a dangerous pastime. I know, but that wacky old coot is Bell's father, and his sanity is only so-so. Now the wheels in my head have been turning since I looked at that loony old man. See, I promised myself I'd be married to Bell, and right now I'm evolving a plan. If I Yes. Then we. No, but she. Yes. Now I get it. Let's go. No one plots like Gaston. Take sheep shots like Gaston. Plans to persecute harmless crackpots like Gaston. Yes, I'm endlessly, wildly resourceful. As down to the depths you descend. I won't even be mildly remorseful. Just as long as you get what you want in the end. Who has brains like Gaston? Entertains like Gaston. Who can make up these, these endless, endless refrains like Gaston? And his marriage we soon will be celebrating. My what a guy! Say it again! Gaston! <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> well, what is it? <laughs> is dinner ready, Mrs. Potts? Just about. I hadn't the slightest idea what she likes to eat, so I've cooked up everything in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, good, good. No. <gasps> well, just don't stand there gaping. Get back to work. <sighs> you tell him. I can't. Tell me what? Now, don't get upset, but you have something on your back. What are you talking about? D oh, oh, oh. What is that? What? Oh, oh. It, it appears to be some winding handle of some sort. Well, get it off of me! Oh, it won't come off! What do you mean it won't come off? Oh, it wasn't there last night when I went to bed. Where did it come from? Why is this happening to me? It's the spell, I'm afraid. Oh, just try to relax. Relax? Relax? I can't relax with this appendage on my back. Oh, is there no dignity left for me? Oh, and what's to go next? My mind. Calm down. It will be all right. I'm frightened, Lumiere. I know, my friend, but you are not alone. We're all in this together. It's time for dinner. Where is she? Uh, 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 perhaps I should go check on her. Uh, won't be a minute. I told her to come down. What's taking so long? Try to be patient, Master. The girl's lost her father and her freedom all in one day. Master, perhaps you may have thought that this might be the girl to break the spell. Yes, I have. I'm not a fool. Perfect. If she falls in love with you, you fall in love with her, and poof, <laughs> we'll be human again by midnight. It's not that simple, Lumiere. These things take time. But we don't have time. The rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's so beautiful. And I'm... Well, look at me. He's got a point. Master, you must help him see past all of that. I don't know how. Well, for starters, you could try to make yourself more presentable. Straighten up. Act like a gentleman. Impress her with your rapier wit. But be sincere. Shower her with compliments. But be gentle. And, and above, above all, all, what? You, you must control, control your, your temper. temper. <laughs> well? What? Where is she? Who? Oh, the girl! Well, she's in the process of, um, well, uh, circumstances being as they are, uh, she's not coming. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, uh, she's not coming. <laughs> what did you say? I, I, well, she's not coming! We'll see about that! Oh, Your Excellency, Your Lordship, Your Grace, don't Stay where you are! Lumiere, stand aside! I thought I told you to come down to dinner! I'm not hungry. I'm the master of this castle, and I'm ordering you to come down to dinner. And I'm telling you I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you are. Don't be ridiculous. <gasps> what? You can't go around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. I can if- Besides, it's rude. No. <gasps> oh, rude, is it? Then how about this? If you don't come down to dinner, I'll drag you by the hair! Master, that may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. At least try and be a gentleman. But why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come down to dinner! 
So you admit you're being a bully. Oh. Okay. Oh. Deep breaths, Master Trace. <laughs> ready, ready? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I'll ask her one last time. Uh, Good. Yes. <laughs> Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Uh, 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 P L E A. Please. Thank you. No, thank you. Fine, then starve. Master. If she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat at all. <sighs> What were we thinking? We'll never be human again. Oh, I suppose not. Well, what would you two have us do? Give up? I'm not going to give up till I hear the sound of my child's laughter through these halls again. Quite right, Mrs. Potts. We mustn't give up while there's still a chance. Lumia, stand watch at the, go- the door, and if there's the slightest change, inform me at once. Oui, mon capitaine. <laughs> I ask her nicely, but she refuses. What does she want me to do, beg? Show me the girl. I know the master can be temperamental, but underneath all that matted fur, he's really not such a bad fellow. Why don't you give him a chance? Why should I? Did he give my father a chance? Well, no, but once you get to know him... I don't want to get to know him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I'm just fooling myself. She'll never see me. There's anything but a monster. How long must this go on? This cruel trick of fate. I simply made one careless wrong decision. And then that which was gone and left me in this state. An object of revulsion and derision. Hated. Is there no one who can show me? How to win the world's forgiveness. What did they say? Shower her with compliments. Impress her with your pirouette. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentle man. Lumiere! <laughs> oh, Lumiere! <laughs> ah, Babette! Come to me, my little fluff! Mwah! Ah, ah, It is my hands, isn't it? You do not love me anymore! Oh, this horrible, horrible smell! Ah, oh, Cherie! You got me to the wick! You really think a little thing like that would change how I feel about you? Now you really tickle my fancy. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, no, no, no! I've been burnt by you before! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Actually, madame, I am a little hungry. I'll ring for Mrs. Potts, and I'll sing you an aria as we wait. That's that's all right. I'll go myself. But what about the master? He's really not going to like this. I know. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I like this girl. I like her spunk. (laughs) Well, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. After all, she did say please. Well, I'm pretty sure it's the first time I've ever heard the master use that word. (laughs) I believe you're right. (laughs) Oh, uh, 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 There you are, dearie. I'm glad to see you're out and about. (laughs) Oh, and uh, I'm Cogsworth, head of household. (laughs) Oh, Cogsworth, the girl! I swear I never took my eyes off of her! Enchanté, mademoiselle! Mwah. Mwah. And this is Lumiere. Mwah. Oh, we oui. Stop it. Mwah. Stop that. Mwah. What? What are you... Uh, Mademoiselle, if there's anything we can do to make you stay more comfortable, anything at all... I am a little hungry. Oh, oh except for that. Cogsworth! <laughs> what? You heard what the master said? Oh, pish tosh! I'm not about to let the poor go go hungry. <laughs> All right, fine. Crust of bread and glass of water and that's it. Cogsworth! She's not the prisoner. She's our guest. We must make her feel welcome here. All right, uh, dinner, but keep it down. If the master finds out about it, it'll be our next. Of course, of course. But what is dinner without a little music? Music? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Ma chère mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now, we invite you to relax, let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin around your neck, Charlie, and we provide the rest. Soup de jour, hot or dirt. Why we only live to serve. Try the Christ stuff. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. They can't sing, they can dance. But the wrong is, this is false. And the dinner here is never second. Go on and fold your men, you take a glance and then you'll be our guest. We are guests, be our guests. Be fragile, she souffle. I am pouring off, Lampe. We'll prepare and serve with flair a culinary cabaret. You're alone and you're scared. The banquet's all prepared. No one's gloomy or complaining while the flat was entertaining. We tell jokes. I do tricks with my fellow candlesticks. And it's all in perfect taste that you can bet. Come on in, lift your glass. You want your own free pass to be our guest. If you're stressed, it's fine dining we suggest. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Let's show words off your chest. chest. Let us say for your entree, we burn a ray, we suggest. Try the bread, try the soup, burn the crew, and we'll 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 It's a treat for any diner, don't be shy. Let us show words off your chest. Let us say for your entree, we burn a ray, we suggest. Try the bread, try the soup, burn the crew, and we'll 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 we
Well done, good show everyone, good show And oh look at the time, it's off to deathbed Oh I couldn't possibly go to bed now It's my first time in an enchanted castle Enchanted? Who said anything about it being enchanted? It was you, wasn't it? I figured it out for myself I'd like to look around if that's alright Perhaps you would like a toy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's, I don't think that's such a good idea. We don't want you know who going you know where, if you know what I mean. Perhaps you'd like to take me. I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. Well, uh, actually, I do. All oh, right. Well, if I could draw your attention to our hand painted ceilings, complete with cherubs frolicking delightfully amongst the nymph- nymphs and centaurs. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. Um, Belle, I wanted to apologize, Belle. Uh, Belle. And if you would like to note our inverted archways as another example of the neoclassical Baroque period. And as I always say, oh, no. oh yes, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. Oh, 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 oh come on, it's, it's funny. Oh, oh. All right, well, if I could draw your attention to the flying buttresses above the aviary. I... Oh, Lumiere, it's all so beautiful. I had no idea. If only he weren't here. Act like a gentleman. I am nothing but a fool. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, that was the last time a stone of that size was ever quarried in the area. What's up there? Oh, nothing. nothing. Oh, nothing of any interest at all in the West Wing. So that's the West Wing? Nice going. I um, wonder what he's hiding up there. Hiding? Oh, what an <laughs> idea, hiding. <laughs> then it wouldn't be forbidden, would it? Oh, uh, well, perhaps Mademoiselle would like to see something else. We have exquisite tapestries dating all the way back to the Elosius and pretentious periods. Maybe later. Perhaps you'd like to see the garden or the library. You have a library? Uh, with books. Oh, scads of books. Forests of books, cascades, cloudbursts, swamps of books. Books with pictures, books with words. More words than you could read in a lifetime. Books on every subject by every author who has ever said Ben de Papier. <sighs> That. I'm sorry. What are you doing here? I was. I told you never to come here. I know, but Do I. Do you realize what you could have done? Get out! Don't touch me! Uh, I'm sorry. Promise or no promise, I won't stay here. No, please, please. please. I, I'm sorry. Please. No, no, I'm sorry. Please! Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to frighten you. I didn't mean to hurt you. You don't understand. There's so little left of me. So little left. And in my twisted face There's not the slightest trace Of anything that even hints at kindness And from my tortured shape No comfort, no escape I see, but deep within is utter blindness, hopeless. 
Has my dream ties? As the time flies, love are lost. Illusion, helpless, unforgiven, cold and driven to this sad conclusion. No beauty could move me. No goodness improve me, no power on earth if I can't love her. No passion could reach me, no lesson could teach me how I could have loved her and make her love me too if I can't love her then who long ago I should have seen all the things I could have been And unthinking, I moved on away. No pain could be deeper. No life could be cheaper, no point anymore, if I can't love her. No spirit could win me, no hope left within me, hope I could have loved her, and that she'd set me free. But it's not to be if I can't love her. Let the world be done with me.
Much. If you hadn't run away, this wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, you shouldn't have been in the West Wing. You should learn to control your temper. <laughs> <laughs> now hold still. It's going to sting a little. <laughs> By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. You see, I knew they'd get along if they tried. Sophie has broken at last. And not a moment too soon either. Have you two taken a good look at the rose recently? It's losing petals at an alarming rate. Not to mention the fact I can hardly bend over anymore. Clearly it's time for us to give them a little push. We must find a nice romantic way to draw them closer than ever. Ah, I'm just the thing. <laughs> How about we warm you two up a bit with a nice bowl of soup? 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 Trust me. <laughs> There's something sweet and almost kind, but he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined. And now he's dear and so unsure. I wonder why I didn't see it there before. Cheers! Come along now, dearie. Let's get you freshened up. <laughs> She glances away, I thought I saw her. And when we touch, she did and shudder at my paw. No, it can't be, I'll just ignore. But then she's never looked at me that way before. When she smiles at me, I get all choked up. My heart starts pounding and I can't breathe. Okay, uh, good. That, that's good. That's yes. all. I've never felt this way about anyone. I want to give her something, but what? Oh, well, there's the usual things. Chocolates, flowers, promises you don't intend on keeping. Oh, no, no, this is no ordinary girl. It must be something special. Something that sparks her interest. Something... Ah! What? Are you sure? Well, I mean... Say something about the dress. It's blue! Your compliment! What a nice dress! 
Thank you. Uh, Belle, I uh, have something to show you. But first, you must close your eyes. It's a surprise. Get the girl! Take my hand. Can I open them? No! All right! No! I can't believe it! I've never seen so many books in my whole life! Do you like it? It's wonderful. Then it is yours. read it? No. And you don't know what you're missing. I'd love to read it again. Wait, you can read it first. That's all right. No, really, you read it. No, you. No, you. No, I, I can't. You never learned to read? Only a little and long ago. Well, it just so happens this is the perfect book to read aloud. Come here, sit by me. Well, who'd have thought? Well, bless my soul. Well, who'd have known? Well, who indeed? Well, who'd have guessed they come together on that home? It's so peculiar, wait and see. A few days, days more. There, there may be something there that wasn't there before. <laughs> Perhaps there's something there that wasn't there before. <laughs> what? <laughs> there may be something there that wasn't there before. What's there, Mama? I'll tell you when you're older. Come along, let's give them some privacy. Mama? Yes, Chip? <laughs> and I am ever going to be a child again? I hope so. When will I know? Soon. If it's meant to be, it'll be very soon now. Come along, my dear. Knowing not that this was indeed the legendary sword they called Excalibur, Arthur tried to pull it from the stone. He tried once, to no avail. He tried a second time, but still could not pull it out. Then, for the third time, Arthur drew forth So the that must mean that he's the king! Wait and see. Oh, I never knew books could do that! Do what? <laughs> oh, take me away from this place and make me forget for a little while. Forget? Who I... What I am. We have something in common, you know. What? In the town where I come from, the people think I'm odd. You? So I know what it's like to be different. And I know how lonely that can be. For the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword, and there arose from the people a great shout. Arthur is king. <laughs> Told you so. <laughs> They're still in there? Yes, and so far he's been the perfect gentleman. <laughs> Mama, I have a funny feeling inside. I don't know what it is, but it makes me feel kind of bubbly. It's hope, my dear. I've been feeling it too. Oh, we, oui, my little friend, the day we have waited for may finally be a time. If only that were true, Lumiere. Ah, oh, human again. Human again. Human again? Yes, think what that means. 
I'll be cooking again, be good looking again, with the mademoiselle on each arm. When I'm human again, only human again, poised and polished and gleaming with charm. I'll be courting again, she casts sporting again, which should cause several husbands alarm. I hop down off this shelf, and to chewy be myself. I can't wait to be human again. When we're human again, only human again, when we're knickknacks and whatnots no more. Little push, little shove, they could whoosh, fall in love. Ah, oh, Cherie, won't it all be top drawer? I'll wear lipstick and rouge, and I won't be so huge. Why, I'll easily fit through the door. I'll exude savoir-faire. I'll wear gowns, I'll have hair. It's my prayer to be human again. When I'm human again, only human again. When the world is a scent, I'll unwind for a change. Really, that'd be strange. <laughs> I can't help it if I'm t t tense. In a shack by the sea, I'll sit back sipping tea. Let my early retirement commence. Far from fools made of wax, I'll get down to brass tacks and relax. When I'm human again, so sweet. The dust from the floor Let's let some light in the room I can feel, I can tell Someone might break the spell any day now Shine up the brass on the door Alert the dust pale and brew If it all goes as planned Our time may be at hand any day now Put these here and put those over there. Sweep up the years of sadness and tears and throw them away. When Guinevere heard that Arthur was slain, she stole away to a convent, <coughs> and no one could ever make her smile again. <laughs> That's the end. What a beautiful story. I thought you'd like it. I'd like to ask you for something. What's that? A second chance. Would you dance with me tonight? A dance? Me? W with you? <clears throat> uh, that, that would be, I, I...
such short notice, Madam Dark. I don't usually leave the asylum this late at night, but this fellow over here said you'd make it worth my while. Look, now I've got my heart set on marrying Belle. But she needs a little persuasion. Oh, yeah! Turned him down flat! It's like this. You see? There's a danger I'll be thwarted and denied my honeymoon. For the pretty thing I've courted refuses to swoon. Then the time has come for a murky plan for which I turn to a murky man to find that fiend. We're better than at the Maison de Lune. I don't take this girl for granted. There's no path I haven't hewn. To her heart, no seed unplanted, no flowers unstrewn. But quite amazing to relate, she doesn't want me for her mate. Which forces him to contemplate the Maison de Lune. I don't see how I could be of use. <laughs> um, and I don't wish to seem a tad obtuse. <laughs> For I lock people up. I'm not a lonely hearts club. <laughs> I'm a cold, cold fish. I'm a no! safe and streak. <laughs> Please speak. It's Belle's father, who's your client. She adores the old buffoon. She'll be forced to be compliant. She'll dance to your tune. We get the daughter through her dad. You just pronounce the old boy mad. And who she slammed up in your pad. At the Maison Maison Maison. Do I make myself entirely clear? It's the simplest deal of my whole foul career. <laughs> Put Maurice away and she'll be here in moments. In a dreadful state, she'll capitulate to me. Oh, I'll be strapping up an inmate. <laughs> Very tightly. Very soon. But please don't bring him in late. Our check-in time's noon. So away for bachelor goodbye. No, be my bride. He'd rather die. <laughs> Death. Then have her daddy ossify in my sordid saloon. So both the church raise glasses high to the maison de Tonight is the night, the night to confess your love. I don't think I can do that. Oh, you, you must. You care for the girl, don't you? More than anything. Then why not tell her? I can't. You must. There will be beautiful music, romantic candlelight, provided by myself, and then when the moment is right... How will I know when the moment is right? Oh, you'll feel slightly nauseous. No, oh, <laughs> no, you'll know because you'll feel it here, and you must speak from the heart. I must speak from... No, I can't do that! You must! What are you afraid of? Nothing! Master! I'm afraid she might... She might, might what? Laugh at me. Somehow, my prince, you must find the courage to take that chance. Master, look at the rose. There's so little time left. I really don't think I can do this. Here, this might help bolster your courage. Oh, God. You can do it, Master. I know you can.
most high true as it can be believe in friends then somebody bends unexpectedly just a little change small to say the least both a little scared neither one prepared beauty and the beast Ever just the same, ever a surprise, ever as before, ever just as sure as the sun will rise. Tale as old as time, tune as old as song. Bittersweet and strange, fighting you can change, learning you are wrong. Certain as the sun, rising in the east, tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme, beauty and the beast. As old as time, song as old as rhyme, beauty and the beast. Off to the cupboard with you now, Chip. It's past your bedtime. <laughs> Thank you for asking me to dance. It was wonderful. Bella. Yes? Bella, are you happy here? Oh, yes. Everyone's so kind. Mrs. Potts and Lumiere. With me? Yes. I must speak from the, the heart. heart. The heart. Go, 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 go. Is something wrong? I was just thinking about my father. I miss him so much. I wish I could see him again. There is a way. This mirror will show you anything. Anything you wish to see. I'd like to see my father, please. Papa! Oh no, Papa! Something's wrong! He's in the woods! I should... I should... Go to him! What? You should go to him! But what about... You're not my prisoner anymore! You haven't been for a long time! No, take it with you! So you always have a way to look back and remember me! I could never forget you! Belle, I... Yes? Go! Go! Well, sire, if you ask me, I think that went swimmingly. I let her go. You what? How could you do that? I, I had to. But why? After all this time, he's finally learned to love. Then that's it. The spell should be broken. It doesn't work like that. She has to love him in return. And now it's too late. Uh, I'm sorry. Coxworth, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> no spell has been broken. No words have been spoken. No point anymore if she can't love me. No hope she would do so no dream to pursue so i finally know that i shall always be in this hopeless state <laughs> 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 
and condemned to wait. Wait for death to set me free. <laughs> <laughs> We're finally home. Rest here. I don't understand what happened. Last thing I remember, I was falling. You were in the woods, Papa. I thought I'd never see you again. But the, the beast, how did you escape? I didn't escape. He let me go. He let you go? That horrible beast? Oh, but he's not. In the beginning, I was so frightened, I thought it was the end of everything, but somehow things changed. How? I don't know, but I see him differently now. It's funny. When I look around, I see the whole world differently. There's been a change in me, a kind of moving on. Though what I used to be, I still depend upon. For now I realize that good can come from bad That may not make me wise, but oh, it makes me glad And I, I never thought I'd leave behind childhood dreams but I don't mind for now I love the world I see no change of heart a change in me In my dark despair, I slowly understood My perfect world out there had disappeared for good But in its place I feel a truer life begin And it's so good and real it must come from within and I I never thought I'd leave behind my childhood dreams but I don't mind I'm where and who I want to be change of heart, a change in me. A change of heart, a change in me. Good afternoon. Madame Dark? I've come to collect your father. What? what? Don't worry, we'll take good care of him. My father's not crazy. Huh. He was raving like a lunatic. We all heard him, didn't we? <laughs> you can't do this. Just tell us again, old man. How big was that beast? 
Well, he was huge. He was eight feet. No, more like ten feet tall. <laughs> you don't get much crazier than that. All right, now. Come quietly. No! Wait! Where are you taking No! Me? Don't take my Tell father! Me, when did these delusions first begin? It is not a delusion! The beast was real! And so is the talking clock! Poor Bell. <laughs> it's a shame about your father. Gaston, you know he's not crazy. Now I might be able to help with this little misunderstanding if... If what? <clears throat> if you'll marry me. What? One little word, Belle. That's all it takes. Never! Fine. Have it your way, then. Take the old man! No! No! Wait! Wait! I can prove he's not crazy. Show me the beast! Who? That's him! That's him! Is he dangerous? Oh no! I know he looks frightful, but he'd never hurt anyone. He's really kind and gentle. He's my friend. If I didn't know better, I'd say you had feelings for this monster. He's not a monster, Gaston. You are. <gasps> She's as crazy as the old man! She says this creature's a friend, but I've hunted wild beasts and I've seen what they can do! The beast will make off with your children! He'll come after them in the night! No, he would never do that! Forget the old man, I say! We kill the beast! Yeah! yeah! Not safe until he's dead, he'll come stalking us at night! Set to sacrifice our children to his monstrous appetite! He'll wreak havoc on our village if we let him... So it's time to take some action, boys. It's time to follow me. Through the mist, through the wood, through the darkness and the shadows. It's a nightmare, but it's one exciting ride. Say a prayer, then we're there at the drawbridge of a castle, and there's something truly terrible inside. It's a beast, <gasps> yet fangs raise a sharp one. Massive paws kill a claws for the feast. Hear him roar, <gasps> see him fall, <gasps> but we're not coming home till he's dead. Good and dead, kill the beast! Yeah! yeah! I'll let you do this! Try and stop us. Oh, Papa, this is all my fault. I have to go back and warn him. I'm coming with you. No! I lost you once. I'm not going to lose you again. We'll rid the village of this beast. Who's with me? I am! I am! I am! Light your torch, mount your horse. Through your courage to the sticking place. We're counting on Gasson to lead the way. Through a mist, through a wood, we're with it all. Hunting castle, something's lurking that you don't see every day. It's a beast, one as tall as a mountain. We won't rest till he's gone and he's seen. Tally forth, tally ho, grab your sword, grab your bow. Will I see the castle and bring back his head? We don't like what we don't understand. In fact, it scares us, and this monster is mysterious at least. Bring your guns, bring your knives, save your children and your wives. We'll save our village and our lives. We'll kill the beast. Take whatever booty you can find, but remember, the beast is mine! Yeah! Hearts are blaze, and it's high, we go marching into battle, unafraid although the dangers just increase. Raise your flag, sing a song, here we come with 50 strong, and 50 Frenchmen can't be wrong! We'll kill the beast! Kill the beast! Kill the beast! Kill the beast! Gives me the creeps. Shh. Well, it does. Shut up. Gaston, I want to go home. <sighs> Say, you're cute. <laughs> ah!
into my eyes Well, don't you recognize The beast within the man who's here before you It is you! going on here? Cogsworth! <laughs> the spell is broken! We're human again! Cogsworth! <laughs> Mrs. Potts! Master! Master! Lumiere! <laughs> Cogsworth, you! <laughs> <laughs> That young man. The prince. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it most certainly yes, wasn't. It most not. certainly was. <laughs> you who so handsome. Babette? <laughs> you look so much better. What do you mean? I thought you liked the way I looked before. I, I did, it's just you look better this way. Then you were lying to me. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> Lumiere, I like you better this way, too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Madam, you do look exquisite. Oh, thank you, Cogsworth. Do you like the gown? I simply can't believe it fits me again it's after all these years. <laughs> it's magnificence and excelsius. Did you know? that I wore this the night I performed at the Royal Opera. The king himself was there. Oh, I know, dear, and you were wonderful. <laughs> oh, Cogsworth. <laughs> mama, Mama! Chip, come here! Oh my God! Look at Chip! My child. Oh my God! Look at ever after, Mama? Of course, my dear, of course. Do I still have to sleep in the cupboard? Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.